Doctors, today what I want to talk about a little bit is how does spinal kinetics help you get internal referrals? In other words, word of mouth referrals, unattached referrals. Uh, referrals just because people want to come into you. Not a referral from an attorney, not a referral from a medical doctor, not a referral from anybody else, but many offices today that are not strictly injury offices have a lot of people coming into their offices for a lot of different reasons. They want treatment for their headaches, treatment for their their neck pain, treatment for their back pain, treatment for the pain going down their legs, treatment for the fact that their legs are falling asleep early, they want neuropathy uh, treatment, they, all kinds of things that they're going to walk into an office, not necessarily the acute injury, not for an acute injury, but lots of chronic situations that they're running into. Okay, so those chronic situations are ligament-caused situations the majority of the time. So most chronic pain of the spine is caused from an old ligament injury. So the more, so doctors um, in the, out, out in the space, uh, chiropractic space, or even doctors of PT now, or uh, medical doctors that are running a musculoskeletal practice with physical rehab, when you have a chronic pain patient come in, that chronic pain patient is suffering from the same thing that an acute injury causes. So the more you understand injury work, the more you understand chronic pain work because the root cause of the chronic pain is generally caused from an old injury. So the more you understand the injuries, the more you understand what to do with them, the more you understand how to work them up, the more you understand how to treat these things. And, and am I saying that you have to have every patient have a spinal kinetics test? No, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying the more that you understand the ligament injury, the spinal ligament injury, and what it causes and what your clinic does, and the more you're able to communicate it to your inflowing people that are already there, the more materials you have on it, the more posters that you might have up in your clinic on it, the more things that you might have that educate the public on it, the more blogs you put out the more information you put out in the newsletters, the more information that you put out in your social media sites on this particular condition, the more internal referrals you're going you're gonna to produce. It's not that hard to in produce internal referrals. All you have to be able to do is talk. I'll give you a simple example. Um, if I'm a clinician today, um, one of the things, a patient comes in, let's say they come in with a, a acute injury, they're in an auto accident, whatever. Um, they've gone through your paperwork, they're in your consultation room, you've done everything for them, you've, you've determined what their injuries were, what their symptoms are, you've determined what their uh, past was like, is there any pre-existing conditions you need to contend with, was there any gaps in care that you needed to contend with. You've got all of that done and now I'm just transitioning, let's say the patient's name is Mary, I'm just transitioning the patient from uh, a consult to an exam, I'm going to say, Mary, the biggest thing we're going to be looking for today with your condition is a problem with the ligament. The ligaments are what hold the bones together in the spine. Anyone that you know that has any form of chronic low back pain, chronic neck pain, chronic headaches like you have with the headaches usually has this condition, but it's gone undiagnosed. So this is what we're going to be looking for today with you. Now, what did I just say to that patient? I just said that a patient, anyone that they know, first, fourth, sixth leading cause of chronic pain and disability, anybody that they know that has this, generally has this condition we're going to be looking for today, and they generally have never had it diagnosed or never been with anybody that's gotten, that knows what to do with it. Now, if I take that patient, and four weeks later, they feel immensely better than when they started, or t a day later, or two, it doesn't matter. As I'm getting results with that patient, it validates what I'm saying was the cause of the condition. And if I communicate to that patient in a way that that patient can communicate with others that they know that has the same condition, I'm going to get internal referrals. So getting internal referrals, understanding what it is that you're treating and becoming more and more of an expert of what you're treating will definitely get you more internal referrals.